I think there's always opportunity in the sheep industry if you uh, do your job properly. Um, I mean, just be smart with your decisions, uh, early actions, uh, best practice. There's just always opportunities and it's being smart about being aware of them and, and taking them as they come. So whether it's breeding, I'm, I, love, I love breeding sheep um, and helping people in that sort of world. So I, I think you can do, uh, everyone can do better jobs with um, lamb survival and repro numbers. So yeah, I just think it's all upside really. So it's good. Um, I think at the moment it is, I mean there's costs, there's squeezes in terms of finance and seasonal manage and seasonal challenges, seasonal conditions, uh, but again, challenges are opportunities, so it's, um, we can all learn from those things that are coming our way at the moment, um, we get better for next time, um, there's always learnings from challenges, so, so I do think seasonal challenges are out there, but um, there's upside in that as well. I suppose, uh, I think I mean, if you talk to all the pundits and the experts, I don't see huge growth in numbers. We're never going back to the 1980s with 200 million sheep and things like that. But I think uh, what, where we are and the opportunities in the future are um, just a stable industry that uh, there's good margins and rewards for best practice and, and uh, taking advantage of good conditions. So I think there's huge opportunities. Australia is so lucky we've got uh, a unique industry that sort of, weirdly though it's huge, is niche to the world, so we can supply the world. So uh, we've got smart producers doing smart things, we've got great people supporting those producers, uh, the experts, the, the consultants, the industries out there are just uh, cutting edge researchers and industry deliverers, uh, information deliverers, so no, I, I, I think there's yeah, just a great future for the sheep job. Um, Innovation, so I'm going to be biased here and say that we've got a lice product that's an oral oral lice product and this, whilst I work for a company that makes it, I, um, you know, it's, it's that, the, the uh, impact of lice on the industry in terms of cost and production issues and um, maybe being proud of the industry, it's, uh, it's the, the Flexile product's just a great product, so it's having massive impact, that, that's very, that's very, um, sounds biased, but it's actually true. Um, and look, I, again, I, I just think there's smart people learning smart things. So it's uh, that's the that's that's the um, the stuff that's happening. That's really good. So um, I actually think I've been I've been in the sheep job my whole life, and I wish I'd learnt way back when I was a boy leaving school and going out in the industry that I knew more about nutrition. To tell the truth, I just think if we feed our stock better, then we. Uh, nutrition is a base to animal health. I'm, 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 my job is animal health and I, I've learnt at my ripe old age to talk about nutrition far more than vaccines and drenches because that's, uh, that's what I wish I knew better from a long time ago. And we can all learn that. It's actually fodder budgets, it's, it's pasture assessments, it's, it's um, you know, feed testing, doing your rations and getting things right at the right time to the right, to the right category of stock. Is, that's, there's so much upside in that. I wish I'd known that earlier. I attended Lambix to catch up with people actually. I, uh, I live in sort of northern Victoria, southern New South Wales and I've worked in a few places so it's just great to catch up with people. I just love seeing people. I had a good catch up last night with people from Crookwell where I left 15, 20 years ago. So I came here for that. I came here just to meet the industry. I love the industry and I just yeah, just like being here. And it's, it's, it, is the, it is the goal of everybody to get to Lambix one day. I've never been to one before so I'm really happy I'm here and I'm, I'm having a blast. It's good. So. And last one? Yeah. When I think of Auctions Plus, I. I've bought and sold sheep and auctions plus, you know, since the since since the 90s when I took on the family farm myself, and when we sold out of the family farm, it all got sold in auctions plus. So I, I um, it's been a very important part of our business uh, when I was doing it. So I just think it's a you get so much access to stock and the assessments. You know, it's 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 a it's a great marketplace basically. So yeah, it's good. It's <laughs>